Hi everyone and welcome to this Figma tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how to design this interactive pricing cards. Alright, let's begin. So let's start by creating a new frame. Let's give it 300 by 500 pixels and 10 pixels border radius. Let's create our text, basic plan. Make it a 12 pixel size, keep it bold, let's change its color to a darker gray. Let's duplicate, add our pricing and give it 32 pixels size. And also, let's go back to 12 pixels. So as you can see, I'm creating all my text first. Let's group that, group that into another layout and then this. Another layout. Let's add some padding and also some padding right here. This. Let's give it some more width. And this. Increase it to 14. Alright. We add a small border here. Let's give it a blue color to make some contrast with the black text. And I will add some lorem ipsum description. Uh, something very random. Like, let's change its color a lighter gray. Now let's create a button. Let's give it a field color of darker gray and 10 pixel border radius. And let's transform it to auto layer. Let's add our text. Choose plan. All right. Now let's make that bold. 14 pixel hug. And let's transform this to auto layout and this to fill container and maybe let's give it five pixels border radius all right now let's duplicate it and let's remove the fill and add a stroke and change the text color to the same dark gray also border radius to this darker gray let's change the text to more. Now let's go and pick a icon from the Iconify plugin. Check. All right. And here, let's go and create a new frame under my buttons, and also transform to auto layout. Here, let's let's draw a frame around my icon and give it a height of 50 and the width of 50 pixels and let's center my icon and let's go for 20 pixels border radius to create this circle all right and let's change the white background of my circle to green color and also change my icon color to white all right and i'd like to decrease the size to 32 that's better let's drop it here now let me create the text let's center all that and give it a medium and a dark gray color and maybe let's give it 12 pixels size and a field container all right let me duplicate that and also i will group all those items list and transform it to auto layout. Let's decrease that to zero. All right, let's change. Maybe let's add some lorem epsom to my checklist to see some difference. All right, now the last thing I'm gonna add is let's change the background color to a yellow bright color, something like that. Yeah. And, well, maybe the contrast with those icons doesn't work. So, let's change this green to a darker green. Alright, let's turn it to black. Alright, that's great. Now, I'm gonna add my last, I'm gonna add my last touch. So, let's grab the circle. Let's draw four circles. Let's group them together. And, let's... Let's drag it inside my frame. Let's go 
pick this absolute position and move it to the top right and also let's go and put it in the background right let's rename this circles and let's change the circles color maybe i will decrease scale and let's change the color all right let's let's keep it like that now let's transform my frame into a component and add a variant so in this second variant it will be my transition so first i will hide hide my list and also hide this learn more button and also i will give it zero percent layer opacity to my two let's go back to 100 so first with my list i'll give it zero percent opacity and hide it then here also my learn more button zero percent and hide all right next in those three circles i will rotate them 45 degree and i will increase their size like that and also let's give it an opacity of 50 percent or maybe let's go to 30 percent all right now what we're gonna do is this will be our default state and this will be um, our hover state so let's grab our prototype and let's connect the second with the first one and let's go to while hovering smart animate and gentle that's it now let's go and create a new frame let's test our card let's go to variant 2 maybe let's rename it to default default and this to hover all right let's center it and let's go and hit this play button all right maybe this animation let's go back it will be the contrary let's go this will be zero degree and hundred percent decrease go back to the default version and here we will rotate it 45 degree and increase its size and decrease its opacity to 30 percent all right now let's go back to our prototype it's exactly what we want maybe i will add a drop shadow here so let's add an effect drop shadow 25 pixel blur and 10 percent opacity all right let's see all right as you can see we have this beautiful drop shadow all right all right that was everything for today's tutorial thank you and i hope you have learned something new today i hope this video was helpful and i created this tutorial using master ui components so please visit masterui.co to discover thousands of components to fuel your creative genius thanks and if you have any suggestion for the next tutorial please feel free to share them by leaving a comment. See you in the next one.